Hey weirdos, so uh, I thought I'd share something that happened to me today. You may have seen me post on Facebook uh, in months and years past, actually, that I deal with migraines. Well, I don't think that actually it is migraines, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, I was doing a search on, well, I, I think probably I just probably just did a Google search. I can't remember exactly what I was doing, but anyway, I did a search on types of headaches. And I found out that migraines tend to be on one side or the other and is more of a throbbing pain. Um, and that's not really what I experience. Mine is sort of like all over. feels like a vice is on my head, squeezing really, really hard, uh, like my head's going to crack or, or, or it's going to explode. I mean, it's like one or the other. And it turns out that that is more likely a tension headache, which can be caused by stress and uh and and other factors so uh so i started looking into that thinking all right fine tension headache what should i do about that i was trying to get like a migraine and uh some of being of, of the migraine stuff wasn't working like turning off the lights and keeping all the sound down because it wasn't a migraine so that kind of stuff didn't really help me all that much uh but taking the excedrin migraine was pretty close. They have an Excedrin tension headache that's out there. By the way, uh, hashtag not sponsored by Excedrin. I'm just telling you what I was using. Um, but uh, essentially, acetaminophen and uh, ibuprofen and caffeine were the three things that they that uh, recommended uh, that they recommended for for uh, tension headaches. Also, uh, making sure that you get enough sleep particularly REM sleep, which was kind of interesting that they that they uh, offered up that advice. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because I was doing everything uh, wrong. Um, now, like I said, I was taking the caffeine and the ibuprofen and the acetaminophen uh, through the Excedrin migraine, uh, and also the Tylenol severe sinus, because it all, I also thought maybe it was a sinus headache, because a lot of it was here in the front, too. So I was taking um, the the uh, Tylenol Severe, which also has acetaminophen in it. Well, it turns out that if you take too much acetaminophen <laughs> and caffeine and uh, ibuprofen, you get something called a rebound headache. And essentially, it, it feels exactly like a tension headache. So what I was doing is I would, I was getting the headache. I was taking the meds and I was taking the meds so often. They said, you, like, you're not supposed to take all that stuff for more than like 15 days in a row. And I, I've been taking it for months, months. So eventually that built up as the rebound headache. But I'm here, I'm getting the rebound headache thinking it's the tension headache. So I'm taking more of the acetaminophen and ibuprofen and caffeine. And it's just this endless, terrible circle. Well, not only that, but uh, I've been using a new sleeping app uh, on my phone uh, at night and also when I take an, uh, a, a nap in the afternoon. It's called uh, Relax Melodies, uh, which I love the app. It's a great app, uh, but uh, it has, well, let me uh, let me bring it up here just so, so I'm uh, saying it correctly. It has uh, sounds on it you know, for like rain and, and birds, it's, it's like the, all the white noise stuff, but it also has something called isochronic tones, which uh, depending on what frequency you choose, you could have something for dreamless sleep, pre-sleep, uh, relaxation, uh, improving your focus. So not even if you're sleeping, you can just have that in the background while you're working. Uh, well, I had that set for you know, for a lot of the white noise stuff, like uh, like uh, a stream and some birds in the background, maybe a wind blowing through the leaves, and then the isochronic tone, I thought I had chosen dreams or relaxation. I had accidentally chosen dreamless sleep, meaning that, and this was at night and for my afternoon nap, so it was actually blocking REM sleep. Now, I still had some dreams, but it wasn't encouraging REM sleep. It was actually hindering it. So I wasn't getting the REM sleep that I needed either. It's no wonder I was feeling like crap. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I had to call my boss at the radio station. I work from home. 
Okay, so you'd think that I don't have to call in sick all that often, but I can't tell you how many times I had to ask, hey, can you cover things today because I just can't get out of bed or you know, I can't concentrate at all today. Uh, I'll be up for two hours and then I'll, I, I'll, I'll be so tired that I have to go back and lay down again. Well, this explains it. So uh, the last three days after I read about this, the last three days, here's what I've done. I have cut out uh, aside from a from a cup of coffee in the morning, I've cut out all caffeine. I have not taken any acetaminophen products at all. So no Tylenol, severe sinus, no Excedrin migraine. And I switched, oh, and no five hour energies. I used to, I used to take a five hour energy every single day during the middle of the day. No, none of those. And I switched my, my sleeping program so that it would encourage dreams. All of that combined, I'm feeling a whole heck of a lot better now. Uh, they said when I was reading it online about uh, if you do have to back off of this stuff that you might have some side effects, you might actually get headaches because because of the withdrawal symptoms, withdrawal symptoms. But uh, I'm not getting that at all. I, as soon as I stopped, I felt better. And here it is day three. And um, I feel fine except that I do have, you know, some some sinus issues because I do have a cold at the same time. And I, what you're, you're hearing now is actually me on nasal spray. So I don't sound near as bad as I did earlier, but the head's still a little bit fuzzy, but that's nothing compared to what I was doing earlier. So all of that to say, um, when they say that acetaminophen can be dangerous, they are correct. If you just take it as prescribed, but you continue taking it every single day, that's too much as well. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate your support. And uh, feel free uh, to to uh, share this with others if you want to share it with others, if you're concerned that maybe they're dealing with some of the same thing. So anyway, I really appreciate it. And uh, it's because of you that I continue wanting to create videos and podcasts and everything else. You make it worth getting up in the morning, caffeine or not. Thanks.